What is up guys, this is Jerry Spalding here, and for this video I wanted to kind of do a comparison between rounds and coins, and these are both uh, Boolean I'm talking about, Boolean rounds versus Boolean coins, and these three are rounds, generic, just generic, you know, rounds, and which is usually the type you'll find with um, Boolean, when you're talking about rounds, however, these all five are coins, which instead of just being, you know, produced by a private mint like this, like these probably were, I mean, because let's see, this one is the re silver. Yeah, I mean, these are all private mints for the rounds, but for the coins, they're produced by the government of whatever country it is. This is from the United States, and this is a coin. I mean, I should know the country. I know it's definitely a European coin. I'm not exactly sure of the country. I think it's a German coin, but I'm not exactly sure. If If I'm wrong, then please do correct me. I should have. Should have looked it up real fast before, but I do know that they're definitely from Europe, and like I said, this is the United U.S. coin, so they're backed by the government, and they all have a uh, face value. I'm pretty sure these are, let's see, 1.5 euros, and these are one dollar. Which the funny thing about that is these have a much higher face value, even though they're all they're all both one ounce of silver, but 1.5 euros is close to two U.S. dollars, so they're almost worth twice the, in terms of face value that the these are, which Something I always found kind of funny, the difference between um different countries. And I mean, I would have thought this would be 1 euro as opposed to 1.5. Anyway, it's something interesting I noticed. So if you're trying to get more face value, I guess, then maybe go with these coins over um U.S. ones. Not that that matters too much. But anyway, like I was saying, they are backed and everything. And generally, these will carry a little bit more of a premium than generic rounds. The generic rounds are a lot cheaper to uh, invest in. Maybe not a lot, but a little bit at least. Uh, however... Over time, these will command a much higher premium. These will always be worth their silver content. These four, as time goes by, could be worth a little bit more because they're all different years. I have the 2008, 2009, 2015, and 2016 Philharmonics. And then this coin is definitely going to build value due to rarity and everything like that, which is not, never anything you'd see with the generic round. So at the end of the day, I mean, really, these are, like I said, cheaper to invest in, but these hold more of a value. So it depends on what type of... um silver you're looking for, you know, I'd say rounds if, um, for, you know, economic collapse situation, or just stacking silver on the cheap, and then, say, if you don't believe that an economic collapse is, um, impending, or you just want to invest, you know, for some 10 years down the line, that will hold a lot of value, then I'd say go with, you know, these graded coins and stuff, like that, but otherwise, I mean, they're both a great way to invest, they're all pure silver, which is great, so, you know, that's just my thoughts on it, though, hope you enjoyed the video, and that's it for this one, peace, love, much respect.